In the annals of human hubris, the tale of the Tower of Babel stands as a haunting reminder of the perils that accompany the relentless pursuit of forbidden knowledge. It was a towering edifice that defied mortal understanding, reaching towards the heavens in a brazen display of ambition. But such audacity did not go unnoticed by the divine powers that governed the cosmos. As whispers of mortal arrogance and defiance reached the celestial realms, the wrath of God stirred. The divine gaze turned upon the tower, its grandiosity a blight upon the natural order. Divine intervention was imminent, and the consequences would be catastrophic. Dark clouds gathered ominously, cloaking the heavens in an ethereal shroud. Thunder rumbled, reverberating through the celestial tapestry, as God summoned the elemental forces of nature to enact his divine retribution. The cataclysmic event that followed would forever alter the fate of the tower and its inhabitants. The ground trembled beneath the weight of divine fury. Violent quakes shook the very foundation upon which the tower stood, threatening to topple the grand structure that dared to challenge the heavens. The sky darkened, and bolts of lightning lashed out, illuminating the landscape in blinding flashes. With a deafening roar, the wrath of God descended upon the Tower of Babel. An inferno of divine energy surged forth, engulfing the audacious creation of mortals. Flames licked at its walls, reducing the once mighty edifice to a crumbling ruin. The tower's hubris was met with the full force of divine justice, a punishment befitting its audacious reach. Amidst the chaos, the relics and artifacts housed within the tower were not spared from divine judgment. As the structure crumbled, the divine cataclysm scattered these ancient treasures across the land. The Eye of Azathoth, its malevolent radiance undimmed, was among the artifacts cast far and wide, a twisted reflection of the divine fury that engulfed the tower. From the heavens, divine winds swept across the shattered remnants of the tower, carrying the scattered relics to the farthest corners of the world. The divine hand ensured that no trace of the tower's ambition and forbidden knowledge would remain concentrated in one place. It was a dispersion of power and an act of divine balance, scattering the remnants of human hubris amidst the vastness of the mortal realm. The Eye of Azathoth, once ensconced within the tower's walls, was now untethered from its sanctuary. It became a fragment of chaos unleashed upon the world, its eldritch aura infecting the lands it touched. The malevolent relic, capable of perceiving hidden truths and glimpsing into other dimensions, found itself free to wander amidst human society, forever changed by divine retribution. But the divine intervention did not eradicate the eye's influence. Instead, it became a silent predator, preying upon the vulnerable and the desperate. Its malevolent allure whispered promises of power and forbidden knowledge, enticing mortals to seek its aid. Unbeknownst to those who succumbed to its temptations, they would become pawns in a cosmic game, forever trapped in a cycle of favors and damnation. The divine wrath that befell the Tower of Babel served as a somber reminder of the boundaries that mortals should never dare to cross. It was a warning etched in the very fabric of existence, reminding humanity of the consequences of their audacity. The scattered relics, including the Eye of Azathoth, became a testament to the divine power that governs all creation, and the fragile nature of mortal aspirations. And so, the Eye, liberated from its prison within the tower, embarked on a new chapter of its insidious existence. It sought out the desperate, the ambitious, and the lost, forever preying upon their souls in return for favors. Its eldritch radiance whispered promises of enlightenment and power, ensnaring mortals in a web of eternal bargains and corrupted desires. Divine wrath had been unleashed, and the remnants of the Tower of Babel, including the malevolent Eye of Azathoth, bore witness to the eternal struggle between mortal ambition and divine retribution.